Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to get the chest map upgrade here in Jedi Survivor that will show you where every single chest is on your map. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now I wanna make note that you're not gonna be able to do this until later into the main story as you're gonna need several abilities to get to this location. Now the very first thing that you wanna do is come to the planet Kobo and fast travel to the meditation point called Mountain Ascent. This is gonna be the closest meditation point to where we wanna end up, which is in the Foothill Falls. So once you go ahead and take that meditation point, we're going to turn around and head back toward the Foothill Falls. We'll follow this path all the way through. And once we get to the end, we're going to jump off this little ledge and into this pool as our goal is to get to the bird on the other side. So I believe we can just jump down here on the right. We can just run all the way to the back and we're going to grab this bird and fly across. So we'll come up here. Take the bird and we're going to fly to this little shack. This little shack right here is going to be the entrance. So once we get to the shack, you want to go around to the back side. You'll probably have some enemies hanging out back here, but we want to open up this door by using the force. And once doing so, you can drop down inside. Now, once you're inside, we're going to come right around the corner. We're going to be in this little room. What we want to do is open up this door and this is going to be the entrance to the cavern. Now, once you open this door, we're going to go through this little crack in the wall. And we'll follow this down all the way to the bottom. And once we're down here, we're going to stay left for a minute. And once we get to this door where it looks like you need to go, we're going to go to the right. We'll go all the way down this pathway over here. And once you get down here, you're going to have the ability to force lift. So go ahead and do that. And that's going to open up a hole. Now be careful because you have some droids that may explode on you. Now, right when you jump into this hole, we're going to land on a bridge that's going to break. So we're going to need to quickly jump to the right. So we'll jump down. You guys will see it's breaking, so we're going to jump right over here to the right, and we'll make it onto this bridge. Now, once you make it to this bridge, we're going to continue down this path, and when you enter this room, you're going to have a lot of enemies that you need to take out. So we'll go ahead and take out those enemies, and the next step is going to be to look up, and we're going to use Force Slam, and that's going to create another hole. So we can drop down onto this platform here, and then we'll just work our way down. So we have another platform here we can jump on and then we'll be able to jump down to this platform. Now, once you make it down here to this platform, we're gonna turn to the left and you guys are gonna see a little light over here. We're gonna go into the pathway that's just to the left of that light. So we'll be in this room. This little guy's gonna explode if you get too close to him, so be really careful. And we wanna jump our way over all of these little explosives. So what we'll do is we'll jump down right here. We can jump on the ledge and fall down without getting blown up. And we're going to have some droids down here. We kind of want to go to this ledge and you'll see this giant wall. We want to climb this wall so we can run across and we'll just jump our way up to the top of this wall. And we'll make it to the top of this platform. Once you make it up here, we're going to continue to work down this path. We're going to have a couple enemies in here. Just continue to stay straight, work our way through all of these vases. And when we get here, we're going to take a right and we're going to be able to jump up this wall here. So we'll jump across. And we're just going to work our way up to the top here. And now you're up on this platform. Now, once you're up here, we're going to head to the other side and we're going to jump down. And you guys are going to see what appears to be another room. But as soon as we walk onto this platform, a wall is going to come up and we're going to fall down. We'll walk over the platform. The wall will pop up. We're going to fall underneath. And as soon as you fall, if we turn around, you guys are going to see all these little purple things. What we want to do is climb this wall and go up into this green wall so we can climb right here just by jumping and once you get close enough we can jump to the side we can dash through the green and we'll fall into another room now once you're in this room we're going to use the force to grab this explosive ball and throw it at this purple door i'll go ahead and use the force look over here throw it at the door and that's going to open the door for us now once you work your way through this door we're going to do the exact same thing so we'll have a ball up here we can grab with the force we're going to look over here throw it at this purple thing and that's going to open up that door we'll be able to climb up on this wall right here beside it when we get to the top we can dive in here and now we're in the next room now once you're in here you're going to see the door but you're not going to see another ball so what we need to do is walk right back over here to the ledge and we're going to grab the same ball we just used because it'll respawn we can turn around, throw it at this door, and now we'll be able to get inside of this room. Now, once you walk through this door and enter this room, we're going to have a pretty epic boss fight. I'm not going to show you because it's pretty crazy, but you're going to fight three enemies in this room. And once you finally take those guys out, you're going to be able to come over here to this door. You can now use BD1 to open it. We'll go inside, go around the corner here, and we're going to have another wall that we can jump up. And once we get to the top, we're going to be able to dash through this green wall. Dash through here. 
And once we're in here, you guys will see the little machine in front of us. We can come over here and once again, use BD1 to activate it. And once you do so, you'll get the map upgrade for the chest. You guys can see, we can see unfound chest stim upgrades and BD1 upgrades on our map. And when I open up my map, because I haven't explored this area yet, you guys can see all of the chests as well as the rest of the chests throughout the world are now gonna pop up on my map, which is pretty awesome. But this is how to get the chests map upgrade here in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.